to CSP Ministry. I've given in memory of her shady electric drums that were purchased in this uh, memory that we we'll used last night for the first time, and we'll use them tomorrow. Uh, we'll have a band playing them tomorrow. We'll use them. So that'll happen tomorrow very much. This morning, very much. I've invited Dr. Cheryl Chapman uh, to kind of facilitate and lead us uh, because today is the birthday of a very special man in the history of the world, Martin Luther King Jr. Um, you are all loved by God, and a decision has been made about you, regardless of what you have done. You've been loved with an everlasting love, decided before him, and that is a gift of God. But we live in a fallen world, and we are surrounded uh, with people who are sinful. We ourselves are sinful. And prejudgment is part of our human fallen condition. And that means, in many corners and in many places, and in most of our lives, in some area, to some degree, we think we know about that person before we meet them. And that means in our world, sometimes it's very difficult that a professor has decided a grade you're going to get even before you enter the class by the color of your skin or your language or your religion. That means you may not qualify for a housing loan or you may not be able to live in this neighborhood or that neighborhood or you may not be able to get this or that job because of your language or your skin color or whatever. And today we recognize a civil rights leader, and if you don't know about the era, read it, read it, read it, a Martin Luther King Jr. who is not a perfect man, however, an incredible inspiration to millions of people living in the love of Christ in incredible opposition and doing it through non Today's not our working day. Monday is, so if you haven't signed up for the event on Monday here in Cordia, or there's a rally at the Calus for Monday, please do so. Uh, so today, Dr. Aaron Chapman will lead us and facilitate us. But we'll begin our work with him, the hymn, uh, the historical day for this.
scripture, um, Matthew chapter 5, 5 through 12. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness, for righteousness is sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are, blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for so men persecuted the prophets who were before you. Martin Luther King and um, and what what he did is 
it was it was almost a call and and um, and, and from a from a spiritual perspective, Martin Luther King, he wasn't he wasn't just he wasn't just trying to do this because you know because it was it was his race, but it was because it was an affront to, to God's will. And he saw it, he saw it as, as being injustice from a from a spiritual perspective. I mean this was this was wrong. And um, he was very, very active in the church at a very, very young age. And um, you know, when he, when he went into college, you know, I think about all this when he went into college. I mean, he, you know, he skipped about three, four grades and went to college, and he was very rebellious. And his, you know, his father wanted him to come back and and um, and, and be in the church, and he didn't want to. And and it was just he, he was called to do this, and um, he was just as sinful and just as broken as, as any of us. And um, you know, I just think I just think that 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 speaks a lot, and you know, I think that he was he was a light. He was a light in the darkness because there was so much there was so much going on, and no one knew how to handle it. Blacks didn't know how to handle it. You know, you got to understand. You know, we didn't have social media. We didn't have education. We didn't have libraries. I mean, we had nothing. So we're we're going through this, and we don't know how to handle it. Someone like Martin Luther King, you know, comes along, and it's almost like he's a beacon, he's a light for everyone, and now everyone can see, you know, they can see, like, this is what's going on, and, I, and, and that, that's what I feel like he did, is he just, I think he just brought everything to light. Fought for, fought for their education, 
you know, the first, the first black man to go to the University of Mississippi and how, I mean, can you imagine, can you imagine being a young black man, you know, fighting for your education and the right, and those are people, I, I stand on the shoulders of those people. I stand on the shoulders of, of Martin Luther King and Emmett Till and, and all these people. And blessed, and blessed are the, the, love, the, love, the people that love the lost. You know, even, even in recently, what's been happening. So, I just, I just know that, that I'm, I'm gonna struggle every day and I'm gonna make mistakes. Um, all I can do is just, just try to try to hold that mantle and just try to be a light. And um, people like people like Martin Luther King, um, he, he almost reminds me reminds me of Jesus Christ in a sense too. I mean, obviously not as not as pure pure in that sense, but just being called to something. And, and that's what faith is about. Is it's about struggle and, and persecution. And um, that needs to be my fight. I can't be afraid. I can't be afraid to to go through things. Or or to see negativity, like I need to see it as an opportunity. And yeah. Uh, John, I appreciate you sharing um, from your heart and um, you know putting yourself in a position that could be a problem. Sharing um, your inner and your thoughts, and your reflections, and it proves today students not only learn from the Bible but they can learn from you as students. Please join us in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, this day we thank and praise you for sending Jesus as peacemaker into our world. And we pray that the Spirit will rest on us on this campus. We thank you also for religious and civic leaders like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who work for love, nonviolence, peace, and justice. In a world that too often wants to divide and destroy, make us a people who long to unite and build up. Lord God, we thank you for Jesus, the light from above, but also for people who have let the light of their compassion shine so that people can see their good works and praise you. We ask this blessing in Jesus' name. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, you are the light from above. You are the revelation of divine grace and truth. You are blessed are the peacemakers. And we praise you for the inspiration you work for us, Dr. King, and other people who work to make peace at home, in communities, in countries, and in the world. As we begin a new semester, help us to see you in scripture as the power of divine love and forgiveness. May others see in us the impact of your saving grace. Lord, in your mercy, make us instruments in your peace. Lord, in your mercy, Will Holy Spirit shine in our hearts and lives with the light of your peace that goes beyond all human understanding. We ask this blessing in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray. And when I do this gesture, 